What is up guys, Orange Night One here, and welcome back to another episode on, of course, Batman Arkham Origins in the Cold Cold Heart DLC. In the last episode, we came here to God Court to find Mr. Boyle and Mr. Freeze, and of course, Penguin himself, who has just gotten freezed up, and look at him. I mean, look at him, he's... He's ugly. What are you waiting for? Get to my alibi! Get that drill and get back here! <laughs> he's very impatient to get that drill. All right, so we gotta get out of here and find that drill. We gotta head back outside. So the my alibi. Warning, critical failure in propellant research wing. Please evacuate. Without the suit, I'd never survive in a cloud of cryo vapor. Cryo vapor. Oh shit, did one of them die? Oh crap. See if this guy's really dead. Yeah, he's dead. I thought, yeah, this was a guy right here. I thought that. Uh, that was weird. I thought I would usually see five guys. But nah, there's four of them. Alright. That should take me up back. Trying to stop you with any luck. Now get yourself to a shelter. Alfred, what's the status of the XC suit? I've just finished loading it into a drop container. Good news. I'm on my way to my alibi to recover a stolen cryogenic drill. Have the bad wing drop it there. It's on its way. Alright, hope that guy gets himself to a shelter. There it is. 
Time to collect our new suit. Designed to deliver gear anywhere in the field by a battle. All right. Handprint scan. And voila. Time to suit up again. <laughs> oh, let's do it. The thermal drives should help you deal with most ice you encounter, sir. And the suit will provide protection from cold and cryo vapor. I just hope its bulk won't slow you down. The honeycomb structure insulates against extreme cold without increasing weight. It won't slow me down a bit. Alright, so let's take a look at the XE suit. It looks pr it's pretty bulky, but hey, it works. This is the only time this is the only game you get to see the XE suit. It's uh, a shame that we don't get to see this more in other games, but it still looks pretty fascinating. It's, it's built to a, uh, to tolerate extreme coldness and everything else that's, that comes in within range of us. So of course everything around us, um, I mean not everything around us, um, we can now perform of course thermal um, heat or something, I don't know what to call it, but it's just something I'm, I'm making, it's just things I'm making up. But of course all of our tools, as you may have noticed, our batterings have turned into, well, triple, um, actually thermal batterings. You just gotta wait for this thumb to charge and, but the sonic battering is the only battering that isn't, you know, thermal. It's still shock. But now we have the ability to destroy anything that's ice. And also, guys, we have the thermal gloves. Now these, you can also use them in combat. Now, I'm pretty sure that the thermal gloves do um, lesser lesser damage than the electric gloves. I'm not so sure, but um, they're pretty. They pretty much do. I'm sure they pretty much do the exact same damage that they use that Batman uses with the electric gloves. It's the same thing with the uh, on. Though, the way how to charge them up is the same way uh, we, it's the same way you do with the electric gloves, by beating up bad guys. I can use a thermocharged battering to bring that ice down on top of those thugs. And now we can free, of course, all of the victims that are nice. That's going to be the majority of this video. There are 120, I mean, not 100, but I don't keep saying that. There we go. We ain't going nowhere. Tell me exactly where the money's stashed. I, I told you. I don't work here. Then what are you doing in the back office, huh? Come on. I'm, I'm freezing. Quit whining. At least your drink is cold. Please. You're gonna help. Class. <laughs> you got scared. Come here. You stole a cryogenic drill from Goth Corp. Well, yeah. By the night here. Big one said to sell off the parts. It's in pieces. Where are they? I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Just don't drop me off a roof, okay? Maybe next time. Gotcha. <laughs> it's loose lips again. Hang on, man. Let me get you free. There you go. You're free, buddy. Alright, let's head back outside. They've split the parts into pieces.
Doctor, your map has been updated with the locations of the components you'll need to rebuild the cryogenic drill. Thanks, Alfred. I'm on it. Let's search for some victims and ask before we go for the final crowd drill part. of these guys that we need to rescue. Listen. Not tonight, don't let tonight. being guarded. He's good. Thank you. 
assist him out. Right, right on top of him. What? Uh, run it, I, uh, come on. There we go. How many frozen victims did we save? Nine out of two. I mean, nine out of twenty. Okay, that's not bad, considering. Not sure if we'll get every last one done, but that's fine. Boogeyman. <laughs> oh, he's real, trust me. I've heard stories. And that's exactly what they are. Stories. They're writing about him in the damn paper front page last week. Probably something the cops cooked up because they're desperate. I'm telling you, he's real. And it's only a matter of time before he comes for us, too. Good luck, you're not on my hit list, though.
Wait, what's that? Come on, damn it, there we go. Gotham is a prison in the police it's warnings. To protect and serve their motto goes, and they do. Protect and serve themselves. You live in fear of their gaze, their billy clubs and guns. When they walk down the streets, we avert our eyes, we tremble when they speak. Who are these people, really? What drives them? Is it justice? Honor? No. They want power, and the badge gives it to them. So those we look to for protection instead inspire fear. Is the first thing that's going on tonight? Yep. I'm gonna check this way. Eleven out of twenty of the frozen victims are nice. Oh, they have bombs Gotham everywhere. Gotham is a prison, and the police its wardens. To protect and serve, their motto goes, and they do. Protect and serve themselves. Their billy clubs and guns. When they walk down the streets, we avert our eyes. We tremble when they speak. Who are these people, really? What drives them? Is it justice? Honor? No. Revolution. Power and the badge gives it to them. Uh oh. Bomb. I know where it is. The bombs are still active. There must be a second failsafe detonator nearby. I don't have much time. I know where the bomb is. Gotta go back over here. Destroy it. There we go. There, that should do it. Quick fire thermal batterings on the money.
That? Oh, that's just the, uh, that's just the Riddler stuff like that. There's the final cryo drill part. Alfred, I've assembled the cryo drill, but it requires some kind of superconducting fluid to operate. Ah, here it is, sir. An organic supercoolant used in an experimental lab run by one Victor Freeze. As in Mr. Freeze. It seems too great a coincidence to ignore. It says here that Ferris had Mr. Freeze's lab shut down. If he's a disgruntled employee out for revenge, and this is about more than just stealing weapons tech. And Freeze's lab is under quarantine. Some kind of accident. I'm on my way back to Goth Corp now. Thanks. Let's go. Boom, the shot player. 
All right, guys, we're going to stop here. Thank you all so much for watching. We really hope you enjoyed it. In the next episode, we are going to head back into Goth Corp and take on Mr. Freeze and find out what also created him. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. See you all next time. Bye-bye.